Um, so hey, let's begin. And we have somebody in pain. What's going on, Sagittarius? We do have the Three of Swords and the Nine of Wands. That's a double pain. One is the Wounded Warrior. The other one is Sadness and, and Isolation. So let's see why are we so in pain here. What in the world happened? Three of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, right? It was meant to be. It was part of the plan that we don't know and we haven't participated in writing, right? And that's the beauty of the universe and speaking the universe about the university to have the world. We are actually ending this uh, period of pain with happy endings, right? We are closing the chapter successfully. That's the world. And we are moving away to, oh my God, love. I have sadness and isolation, we end the sadness and we move to love, Gemini energy. For some of you it is a pain that, it is a love that hurts like this. So let's see what this is all about. Sometimes it's a Gemini, sometimes it's love, sometimes it's both. And that's the problem. <laughs> Anyways, bottom of the deck, such says we are refusing to see that there is love. We do have the Two of Swords and the Six of Cups and the Empress and the Emperor. Well, we ask for love and we might um, have parents who live, who really <laughs> love us a lot because it looks like we have mom and dad over here. Um, of course, you can have children with this person and have a family. And, um, and at the end of the day, we are contemplating something here. We have the Six of Cups. This is the energy of reconciliation. This is the energy of soulmates. So this person absolutely is your match, if you're wondering. Um, this is what comes across the energy of nurturing, of love, of family, of stability, of something solid who can um, be independent. The Empress is independent, the Emperor is independent. So I would say a couple, a power couple. And there is a lot of love between the two of you, but somebody refuses to see here. So such as past energies on your side, the person you are uh, dealing with and mutual energies. And by the way, by the way, we know um, um, the Empress. Um, she's um, Libra energy because of Venus, Taurus energy, and Emperor is Aries energy. So you might have those signs. Um, current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, challenging times. Might be 11, we are refusing to see something because we are going through challenging times and we are focused on that. So such size, let's see, in the past on your side, we do have the giving and receiving and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my God, you are, you are giving so much, right? Um, Eight of Pentacles is really working a lot for this connection and Six of Pentacles is being extremely generous reciprocating, uh, being in balance, staying in balance, very practical because we have a lot of pentacles here. Um, and also coming from a place of justice with the six of pentacles, a sense of balance, a place of um, balance, a place of making very practical decisions, doing everything to keep things, um, you know, I would say up and running, it's not the same up and running. Um, as the Eight of Wands would, or the Two of Pentacles, but still, you know, from a place of generosity and making sure that whatever was brought to the table, you're going to offer the same and you're going to keep everybody happy. Now, I don't know, this person might have um, gotten somehow um, anxious. We do have the Four of Swords, uh, the Just Breathe card. This is also in Love Readings, the Breakup, so they might, they might have asked for... Um, a pause of some uh, form or shape and two of pentacles. That's the energy of a person trying to really maintain the levels of anxiety um, pretty low. And two of pentacles is the energy of working hard to keep things up and running uh, despite the breakup or uh, despite this um, energy of them quieting the mind and trying to um, tune um, down kind of the noises, that's a four of swords. It's also planning and strategizing to find balance, planning and strategizing for work, and maybe both of you, you are working a lot in this connection. <clears throat> 
Now, Sagittarius, mutual energies between you and this person, we have again refusing to see. I do believe that somebody here haven't realized the potential of a connection of some sort. It was probably a powerful one and a beautiful one, but somehow somebody refused to see the love. See, we come from two different places. One is refusing. One is simply love. So there was love in this, but we were blindfolded. We were focusing on the wrong things or on different things. And now in the past, mutual energies between you and this person is really the five of cups. Guilt, remorse, uh, missing, longing. Um, focusing on the empty cups and whatever went wrong um, and um, when it was the time actually to notice something right maybe we were no, not noticing um, we were not paying attention at some point because you you can you come from a place of a lot of effort and again you can swap uh, right you can swap the energies Absolutely on this side we have a lot of reciprocation and a lot of work and a lot of attention and attention to details with the Eight of Pentacles, a lot of, a lot of learning about the other person. While on this side we have the energy of um, breakup of just breathe and still continue to work, right? So absolutely we are coming from two different places when we look at this such that is you and your person. <coughs> But the regrets are on your side what's going on so where are we right now we do have the five of cups and we have the empress and it shows up again so this person of yours this is like wanting to nurture somebody and love somebody so much right that's the empress you want to give everything and yet it comes with the five of cups energies it's like it's no longer possible and now we have all the regrets in the world for having uh, missed with the two of swords twice right for having been blindfolded when it was important to not be in some way and i say important because we, we show up we show up here with the emperor right and the empress so again quite a power couple um probably a, a, a powerful situation a powerful family situation or two important people you know at some point it was good and 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 then we just missed it we just missed it and now we know right we have this heavy energy right now of how am i how can i change my focus because you have twice change your focus right how can we change our focus when actually all they want to do is this empress the energy of nurturing and loving and giving now this person of your Sagittarius, they are way too scared to move on. We do have the chariot, can be cancer energy, and we have the eight of swords. This is the energy of mental prison, seeing, conf seeing uh, obstacles to move on. This is the energy of being scared. This is the energy of being blindfolded. The energy of being bound to you. So somebody here is absolutely still bound to you. Way too tight to move in the opposite direction because the chariot is also the energy of breaking free and going the opposite way so that they can breathe deal with the duality in it and also have the success that they want to have but they are not um there just yet you know and mutual energy is between you and this person a world of intuition and a, lo a world of fear we do have the high priestess we have listened to your intuition for some of you it's guidance but i'm mainly feeling that this is about silences this is about secrets this is about the darkest fears you being in your head such that is them being in their head they bound to you you simply regretful and emotional about whatever um happened i'm not seeing a big disaster on the contrary i'm um, sensing a very strong bond the strongest right between the emperor and the empress and with the six of cups a lot of um living in the past right and wanting to still have this energy to nurture this um, energy of this person on your side on their side they might be a little bit brainy uh they started with the four of swords to quiet the mind uh you know when the mind is the enemy and we want to tune it down a bit um they are quite in there mind i would say and um probably all the swords here might be their own energy too of blindfolded and uh, refusing to see we have as the overall energy in the past and now both of you with the nine of swords energy but they more so with the eight of swords right mental prison struggling 
feeling um, bound down to something and um, and also lonely that is eight of swords is a very lonely card it's somebody suffering in silence somebody not showing um, right and uh, keeping a brave face and uh, but when you know when the world goes quiet they uh, look like this helpless and hopeless so moving forward we are manifesting healing over here i love this the magician changes and healing and peace of mind this is also the energy coming your way the energy of law of attraction what you attracted comes your way and with the six of swords just simply walking and going away um but not away in, in a sense that physically away but simply moving towards where the destiny calls and the changes that you want to make in the mind frame that you want to have and um, the abundance that you want to create because that's a manifestation right having all the tools and feeling confident feeling confident to move away so such that is this person of yours they release and let go we do have the uh, the death card scorpio energy and we have the fall releasing and starting new um it, it was a working progress, right, with them, because we started with finding balance and, and simply breathing, both uh, combinations for meditation and all the uh, practices that um, calm the mind. We have them um, having a plan with the chariot, right, and it's more of an impulsive plan, but still, you know, after the mental prison of the mind, somebody longs for something new and we have them releasing and trusting the future. Um, which is an amazing energy actually, because in between that, there is also transformation and opening up new doors. Um, death is the energy of spirituality. This death is about accepting something and going through the transformation of um, accepting um, endings and um, and it's a beautiful energy and the fall is also the energy of taking risks and saying you know what um anyways this is dead so the only way is actually to trust whatever comes my way so again this um it's the beginning of a spiritual awakening both energies combined and um and it comes um again after a period of um kind of quieting the mind that was um the main obstacle for them in any ways but again you can swap and the energies between you and this person coming your way we do have the devil and the tower so absolutely something is uh, burned down um both this combination of energies like living behind of course can be a capricorn absolutely and uh, if you are dealing with a capricorn we don't have a lot of zodiac signs um we do have um Libra Taurus, we have Aries energy, um, Empress is Leo feminine energy, it's the sun, and the, um, and we have, yeah, that's about it, and we have the devil and the, uh, the devil, the Capricorn and Scorpio, so you don't have a lot, in the Cancer. So the energy between the two of you moving forward, the devil and, um, the tower speaks of leaving behind old patterns, speaks of, um, burning new old ways of doing things um it's changing whatever was toxic and reinventing in some way but we uh, our energies as are a little bit different right such that is on your side we have the magician and again can can be a mark of spirituality for you can be a mark of awakening of changing something taking control the magician takes control in a very um, confident way and we also have the emperor as the overall energy so absolutely we have this sense of coming uh, from a place of power to this connection and feeling confident and absolutely wanting to change something and if we ever want to change something when i look at these energies between the two of you we have secrets and silence with the high priestess we have fears darkest fears we have the tower something that has to be reinvented and uh, rebuilt from scratch because the universe says you deserve better and we also have the devil some toxic energy some, something that it there is no way it's in the same vibration with the magician right so it's a very <laughs> it's a very strong energy here of 
you've worked a lot and at some point that was this awakening saying you know what i want to nurture new energies right we have the nurturing and the manifestation i want something else it has to be something that is something different out there for me and this is what stands between you and your person and i do believe both of you you are ready to one is ready to manifest the other one is ready to release and, and start new and it's interesting because the overall energy speaks of love, right? Six of Cups speaks of soulmates, the Empress and the Emperor. So, power couple with um, still some um, some love left in this, but probably, you know, the universe says, well, how about we clean um, a little bit? Um, your aura, theirs, your life path, theirs, that kind of energy. So, hey, Sagittarius, let's um, ask for some guidance. I'm going to have... Oh, Sagittarius, you do have passion, baby. Look at this. You do have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And we have expressed your love. So we might have you actually in love. You do have two emperors here. I'm just saying, just in case. Can be masculine energy, can be feminine. I know, I'm playful. It, it happens. And we do have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So we are passionate, that's good, and we have to talk about. For some of you being blindfolded with the Two of Swords here, right, and refusing to see, you are absolutely guided. And and if you have two people, and no judgment, and who am I, right, to say, but we might have two energies equally important to you, um, equally nurturing and, and, and being present in some way, and can be your energy towards this person and their energy towards you. You are equally um you know guided to express your love if that's how you feel towards the person that you feel you have to right and if i'm picking up the energy of somebody being in love with two people again no judgment here well now you are in trouble <laughs> i'm teasing you we do have the Four of Wands. Again, this energy of marriage here, right? That's the Four of Wands. But it is stability, family, and home. So for some of you, actually, the message that you need to hear today is your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment, and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event, such an engagement, a wedding, buying a new home, or the birth of a child. So maybe you need to get married. We leave somebody for somebody else. I don't know. Or maybe you'll meet somebody at a wedding. That is kind of a of a restriction here. But we do have four of um we have four of ones and now we have the inner strength. Um so this is the the strength, but it's number eleven. Usually it's the justice, but it's the old tarot, so they are switched. And um such as you are actually guided to be courageous. So you have great courage and kindness, right? It's a strength in kindness. That's a strength. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there is no problem you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in the convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. So that is the four of wands and that is a no for some of you living behind a commitment of some sort, a marriage. I believe you are really guided to stay strong and say no if this is um, what you feel you can do. We do have the hangman seeing clearly. It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry the pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. And guess what, baby? You have a new beginning too. So both of you have a new beginning here. We are starting new all over again. And it says you are at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There is no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer to the world if you'll just free yourself from that which holds you back. New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. So you have the four of wands, you have the hangman, you have the strength and the new beginnings, the, the, um, the full energy. So for some of you are really guided towards whatever passion you want to express and can be another person. 
but can simply be the the passion of a new beginning it's like reinventing and uh, being like a child again pretty enthusiastic of building something new something different you know so what energies we need to keep flowing and we do have purpose i know what i'm here to do oh isn't it interesting such that is it's beautiful we need to get back in the flow the energy of purpose i know what i'm here to do we have humility okay you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on a different path okay so we do not judge anybody right it's just a different path we have transformation it's interesting they have transformation you have transformation as guidance so you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness we need to transform a little bit shed some skin be aware of it's about the awakenings and we have death that's interesting they have death you have death in guidance i am learning that endings are merely new beginnings absolutely we are manifesting something new here actually attracting some, something new just by the looks of it and might be actually um whatever um love connection you are not paying attention to maybe this is what's coming your way the empress and the emperor right can be something that you didn't see coming and it is coming can very well be because you have absolutely for the third week of May and you know how time is we have endings across the board you have endings on your side endings on their side so something is done 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 and yet new loving energies emerge so um and if you are passionate about I mean go ahead right passion and express your love that's your guidance so such guys this is all that I have for you guys you know I love you right I wish you nothing but the best as always please let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care